Hey, what's going on you guys? In this video, I just wanted to talk about finding the motivation to take action so you can reach your goals. Hey, what's going on you guys? Benjamin here with Motivational Marketer and in this video, I just wanted to talk about finding the motivation that you need so you can reach your goals. So right now, it's almost the end of the year. New Year's is around the corner and if you're watching this, then you've probably got a few different New Year's resolutions that you set for yourself. And maybe it's the most common resolution that people make, which is to lose weight. Or maybe it's to make more money in the New Year, or to buy a new car, or to get a promotion, or to start a business, or maybe you haven't thought about a New Year's resolution yet. But what I want to talk about is that you shouldn't wait for the New Year's to start taking action to reach your goals. I know that's an excuse that many people make to themselves. They might make a resolution to lose weight, so they're going to just eat, and eat and eat until the new year comes around they're gonna stuff themselves when it comes to Thanksgiving comes to Christmas they're not gonna care about how their diet is and they're gonna worry about all of that when New Year's comes but I mean why not start now but what I wanted to focus on in this video is finding the motivation now this is probably what stops people from taking action in the first place they have this lack of motivation or they feel like they need to get motivated before they start to take action at all so I just want to share a few different tips that's going to help you take action and find the motivation in order to reach your goals. So let me just write a few of these up on the board right here so you guys can see. The first one is to have a goal. If you don't have a goal, I mean, what are you really doing? If you don't have a goal, I mean, you're just pretty much going through life with uh, no destination. So you need to set a goal for yourself in order to build up the motivation in order to reach that goal. Because like I just said, Without a goal, I mean, you're just going to be wandering through life. And it also needs to be a specific goal. If your goal in the new year is to make more money, I mean, you need to be specific on how much money that you want to make for that year. Don't just say, I want to make more money, and then you could just walk down the street, find a $10 bill, and congratulations, you just made more money. You need to be specific on the goals that you want to reach. If you're trying to lose weight, don't just say, I want to lose weight. You should say how much weight that you want to lose. Set a goal for yourself. Write it down on the board somewhere. I want to lose 30 pounds in the new year. Maybe 30 pounds in the first three months. Or maybe I want to start a new business. What kind of business do you want to start for yourself? Don't just make it general and say I want to start a new business. Because if you just make it general, I mean, more than likely, you're not even going to reach that goal. Because, I mean, it's not something that's specific enough. So tip number two is to have a plan. So once you figure out what kind of goal that you want to have for yourself... You need to figure out a plan on how you're going to reach that goal. So these go, side, these go hand in hand, basically. So figure out a goal that you, want to set, that you want to set for yourself and then figure out a plan that's going to reach you to that goal. If your goal is to lose 30 pounds in the new year, you need to have a plan on how you're planning to lose that weight. You need to figure out a schedule when you're going to go to the gym, what kind of diet you're going to adopt, maybe some unhealthy foods that you're going to give up. It's like an old expression that I'm pretty sure you've heard before. If you fail to plan, then you're just planning to fail. So you need to have a plan that goes hand in hand with the goal that you're trying to reach. So tip number three, when finding motivation, is what a lot of people don't do. And that's just to get started. People feel like they need to have the motivation first before they're ready to take action. They make an excuse to themselves. They say, I'll do it when I feel motivated or I don't have the motivation to take action. And I just want to share something with you guys. I mean, more than likely, you're not going to get that feeling of motivation. You first have to start taking action, and then that motivation is going to come to you. It might not be right away, but if you continuously take action, you're going to start to build up a habit, and you're going to start to feel motivated once you take action. This is something that I've noticed myself personally. When I have to do something that I know I have to get done, and I don't feel like doing it, I don't usually get the motivation to do it until I start taking action and then I'll start to feel motivated and I'll just keep on pushing forward. A perfect example is whenever I go running. There's plenty of times where I don't feel like running at all but I know it's something that I should be doing because I'm trying to live healthier, I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to build up stamina but when I start running I don't feel that motivation to run until I'm actually going putting it into action. I don't start feeling motivated until I start to get the blood pumping and still I start to breathe heavier and that pushes me to go even further. So you might say to yourself, I'll start this when I feel motivated or I need to watch a motivational video 
before I can take action because, I mean, I don't feel it. I'm just not feeling it. But the best thing to do is just to get started. If watching a motivational video helps you, I mean, more power to you. But either way, at the end of the day, I mean, nothing is going to get done until you take action. So the best thing to do, like I just mentioned, is to get started and then the motivation will come to you. So the next tip that I wanted to share is what a lot of us, even I, get distracted. So you have to cut out the distractions because whenever you're going through your phone, you might be saying to yourself, I'll just watch this quick video. I'll just check my Facebook real quick. And before you know it, you spend 30 minutes to an hour of your time just wasted. You probably wonder, like, where did that time go? And that's time that you could have been using to do something productive. So you need to cut off the distractions. You need to turn off the TV, maybe put down your phone, get off uh, your laptop, and just start thinking, what do I need to do? What's something that I, need, I know I should be doing right now? So cutting out the distractions is going to help you feel more motivated to take action for your goals. So that's basically all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you got some kind of value from it and hopefully it motivates you to start taking action. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or different methods when it comes to making money online, then I invite you to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Well, that's pretty much it for this one. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.